Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, in today's video, I am telling you about the Shootout Arena RV Park in Tombstone, Arizona, and how we found the location, how it was, and all about it in case you are interested in camping in the Tucson area, whether you have an RV or you're a van lifer. Um, and just want to stay for a couple nights. There's not a ton of BLM land around that is close to Tombstone, so Maddie Van Halen and I opted to stay at this RV park, which is right outside of the main drag on Allen Street in Tombstone. There is day parking for, I believe it's $4, and then right down the dirt road, you can stay for $10 a night, at the Shootout Arena RV Park. It's basically a big dirt lot. It is dry camping. There are no hookups. There aren't even dumpsters. So you need to be prepared for boondocking when you arrive. But we had a great time. It was so much fun to stay close to camp and I will tell you all about it. Here's the Shootout Arena RV Park sign that you see when you enter, and it pretty much tells you everything you need to know. All overnight parking for $10. So you need to have cash because there's no camp post or anybody to take a card. So what you do is you come over here to this drop box and you take an envelope. There are also pens. Oh, sorry, Winston's coughing. You okay, Bubby? Okay. You take an envelope, you put in your money, you enter all of your vehicle information, and then you drop it in the drop box. Then you are good to go. As you can see, like I said, it is a giant dirt lot. <laughs> There's nothing to it, but it's so close to town and worth the $10 because it's like a three minute walk to Allen Street. It is nice and quiet down here and it worked out really super well. We found this RV park on Campendium.com. There is also an app. It's listed on iOverlander as well and Google Maps. So there are lots of different ways that you can find campsites, but I typically use Campendium. It's cool because you can actually see the Tombstone Courthouse from here and hear some of the fake gunfire from the shows during the day. And that's something to keep in mind if you have dogs that might be afraid of loud noises. So we arrived at the RV park. It is fairly empty. I thought it would be much busier, so a pleasant surprise. It is $10 a night, worth it to pay for being so close to the main street. But I parked my van, so I have shade on the other side. And Maddie did the same. He was kind enough to put out his rug so I could set up Winston's metal playpen. Um, of course, in an area like this, it's not safe for him to just be wandering off leash, you know, and of course I need to be courteous. So I have his big metal playpen set up and we are just hanging out, going to enjoy the evening and then tomorrow we will spend the day in town. One thing that's nice about it being fairly empty is I have space to put out my solar because there aren't people right up against us, which is nice. So we can kind of spread out a little bit, but we hit the area after the tourist season. So it was fairly quiet in town and here at the RV park. We didn't even have to really worry about generator noise, which was an absolute perk. Bunch of big rigs pulling in uh, this evening, but what's nice is that we're kind of up on this little like hill thing where only small vans can park or small rigs, which is like so nice. Uh, another one of those benefits of having a small rig and we're right by the entrance. So we know that they won't park by us and be loud, which is really awesome. It's the morning of us actually visiting the main street of Tombstone. And as you can see, it didn't really get too crowded last night. So I went ahead and put out my Yargo solar panel to charge up my Jackery, since we're going to hang out for a couple hours this morning. 
before we go see all the sights. I moved Winston's pen into the shade so the sun's not in his eyes and I'm working on cleaning up the van before the day starts. The sun started to move a bit so I put Winston's tapestry over his playpen. The sun definitely bothers his eyes at times and it's a little bit warmer today so now he has shade and I got out his roller carrier because that's what I will be using for him in town so he can rest and relax. We spent the day being tourists in Tombstone, but now we are back at camp. So I put my Van Power Solar back out so I can work on charging up my fridge, especially because tomorrow is supposed to be a bit gloomy. I moved Winston's playpen back into the shade of Maddie's van so we can hang out for the evening. He can rest and be safe. Here's the boys hanging out. It's getting a little bit chillier in the evening, so I put Winston under his towel. What a relaxed boy, happy boy. So we just left the uh, Tombstone RV park, but we are still in Tombstone. I pretty much ran out of clothes, so I had to come to the laundromat. So Maddie and I are both doing laundry. There's a, a little laundromat called the Tombstone Fluff and Fold <laughs> here literally three minutes away from the RV park. So $2 to do a load of laundry and $1.75 for the dryers. So I have our laundry going right now and it's right next to a family dollar. So I just walked over there to pick up a few things. And um, so now we're just chilling using the opportunity to charge up my power stations. It's going to be chilly. It's very windy today and gloomy, so I won't have an opportunity to use my solar. We are also moving camp. So yeah, just kind of getting all this stuff done. I feel better about doing my laundry. My van is an absolute disaster right now because um, it was so windy this morning and I had to focus on getting everything like in my rooftop box. So I just kind of threw everything in here because I had to do laundry. So um, I actually might get in the back while I wait and <laughs> do a little bit of cleaning up. So uh, Winston is, hi, yeah, resting as I want him to do. And this is the plan. Our next camp is about 50 minutes away, and I also need to stop at the post office to mail out sticker orders. I have a bunch more to mail out, so I still have plenty of Adventuring with Amanda stickers for only $5 available. Link in the description. Free shipping, of course. They keep coming in, and it really helps me, you guys, especially since I just had to buy a tarp pole for my lift gate, as well as new shocks. So uh, any support really means the world to me. I'm very grateful for it. So let's continue on with our day. Our laundry is almost done. Have, everything is in the dryer, so I took the time to make my bed, clean my toilet, clean everything up, so I feel much better about traveling now today. Winston is resting. We're just listening to sports radio because it's Major League Baseball opening day, which I'm stoked about. So that's what we're doing while we wait for our clothes to finish. I am so happy we're going to have some clean laundry. Since no one's in here, I figured I'd give you guys a quick little glimpse of the Tombstone Laundromat. It's small, but it's cute. Um, it's in very good shape, so happy that it was so close to camp. I love these old orange chairs that remind me of a bowling alley. <laughs> but they have um, dispensers and change, and if you want some candy, 25 cents.
we made it to our next camp and we are experiencing 33 mile per hour winds <laughs> today. So um, it's actually, it's like in the 60s. I have my fan going right now um, just because I don't want to open my doors because it's so windy and dusty. But Winston and I are just going to hang out, put my laundry away. I'm glad I organized the van this morning and cleaned it up while I was getting laundry because I don't even want to step foot outside. So I'm going to refill my white bags and snack and just hang out. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. I will be showing you more footage of our drive to this camp and what it looks like in an upcoming video. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.